Hello everybody. Our lesson for today it's about quadratic formula used in solving quadratic equations. In general, quadratic formula it is used when factoring is not working or when we have to work with decimal numbers in place of ABC coefficients. So, first of all, quadratic formula to be used, that it can be used, the equation has to be written in standard form, which is AX squared plus BX plus C equals to zero, in which the A coefficient, it cannot be equals to zero. And then, quadratic formula is x1, x2, the roots, equals negative b plus or minus square root b square minus 4ac all over 2a. In this formula, the value of the radicand, b squared minus 4ac, it is called discriminant. Just a second. So, b square minus 4ac, it is called discriminant. And has the symbol delta, letter from the Greek alphabet. The value of the discriminant will help us understand how many solutions, how many roots the quadratic equations have. So, if the discriminant it is positive, which means b squared minus 4ac, if it is positive, which means greater than 0, then the equation has two different real roots. So, x1 does not equal to x2, and these are two different real roots. If b square minus 4ac, so the discriminant, it is equal to 0 exactly, then the quadratic equation has one repeated it is also called double or also we can say same root so as you can see three different terms they mean the same thing for delta equals to 0. So, x1, it will be equals to x2, and this equals to x. And the last case, when delta b squared minus 4ac, it is negative, which means less than 0, then the quadratic equation has no real roots. The equation will have solutions, but the x1 and x2, they will be complex numbers. And these two complex numbers, they will be conjugates. So we can say, if you remember, x12, it will be equals p plus or minus qi. So remember, this is the standard form of the complex number. So we will find three different cases.
If it is about the quadratic function in standard form, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where a coefficient it is not equals to zero. Then the graph, let's say a it is greater than zero positive, which means the graph opens upward and it has a minimum given by the vertex. Then there we'll find three different situations. Three different graphs. Graph intercepts the x-axis in two points. So these are the two x-intercepts, x1, x2, where they are different. Intercepts the x-axis in only one point, which means x1, it is equals x2, and it's equals to x. Or the parabola does not intercept the x-axis at all. The first case, when delta it is greater than zero, second delta equals to zero, and the last one when delta it is less than zero. So the value of the discriminant again delta is b squared minus four ac. So the value of the discriminant will tell us how many solutions that the quadratic equation have or how many zeros does the parabola have? So, standard form, quadratic formula, the a coefficient not equals to zero. Two x-intercepts, so delta here, it is greater than zero. One x-intercept, delta, it is zero. Parabola does not intersect the x-axis, so delta, it is less than zero. Solve the following quadratic equations using the quadratic formula. So I'm going to take the first one. 2x squared plus 6x plus 3 equals to zero. First of all, as we said, check the standard form equals to zero. Also, you can check if between the terms exists common factor. Here, in our case, we don't have. Separate, we put the coefficients a equals to two. Do this always to be sure you don't have mistakes. B, it is equals. B, it's the coefficient of x, which is six. And the C, it's the free term, which is 3. To solve using the quadratic formula, first of all, we have to write the formula, which equals negative B plus or minus square root B square minus 4AC all over a. Now we will substitute equals and fraction line. The ABC values, we have them here, so all we have to do is to substitute. Negative B, B is 6, so we will have negative 6 plus minus square root. B square is 6 square, which is 36. Minus 4 times a, a is 2, so 4 times 2 is 8, and a times 3, it is 24. All over 2 times a, a is 2, so 2 times 2, it will be equals to 4, and equals. We will get it into the simplest form. And then it will be x1, 2 equals k1, 
keep the fraction line negative 6 plus or minus square root of 36 minus 24, it is 12, all over 4. Square root of 12, I will take it separate to simplify it. Use the prime factorization. 12 is 4 times 3, where 4 is a 2 square times 3. Simplify by 2, so the 2 it goes outside, it will be 2 square root of 3. Come back and write negative 6 plus or minus 2 square root of 3 all over 4. 6 and 2, they have the common factor 2, so I will factor it to negative 3 plus or minus square root of 3 all over 4. We can simplify by 2. And finally, we can say that x1 equals negative 3 plus square root 3 over 2 and x2 equals negative 3 minus square root of 3 all over 2. As long we got, we found two different real solutions. In this case, delta it is greater than 0 and delta it is 12. The b square minus 4ac it is 12. Solve the equation using two different methods. So let's use first of all the quadratic formula. As we said, it is equals to zero standard form. 6, 7, 20, there is no common factor between them. And we'll write A equals to 6, B equals to negative 7, and C equals to negative 20. And we put the formula first, x1, 2, equals negative b, plus or minus square root b square minus 4ac, all over 2a. Now we substitute. Negative b, b is negative 7, and negative, it will be 7, plus or minus square root, b square, negative 7 square, 49, negative 4 times negative 20, it will be 80, 80 times 6, plus 480. All over 2, 8, 2 times 6, which is 12. And equals 7 plus or minus square root 9, 8 plus 4, 12, 529. All over 12. Let me just check. 529, it's the perfect square of 23. So we can write here 7 plus or minus 23 over 12. From here, we found two real solutions, which are x1, it will be 7 plus 23 over 
12. And this equals 30 over 12. We can simplify by 6. So it will be equals 5 over 2. And the other one, x2, equals 7 minus 23 all over 12 and equals 7 minus 23, it's negative 16 over 12. We can simplify by 4, so it will be equals negative 4 over 3. These are the two different solutions. So we solve the equation using the quadratic formula. Thank you.